Mostar, straddling its beloved river, is the leading city of the southern part of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Mostar feels Turkish because, until the early 20th century, it belonged to the Ottoman Empire. When the Ottomans vacated, they left behind a large population of Muslim converts. You feel this Turkish heritage everywhere. It's embodied in a skyline of minarets and in the five times daily call to prayer. And Mostar's 400-year-old stone bridge was commissioned by Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. With its elegant single-pointed arch, the old bridge symbolized the town's status as the place where East meets West in Europe. When it was part of Yugoslavia, as in centuries past, Mostar was a place where cultures mingled, where Catholic Croats, Orthodox Serbs, and Muslim Bosniaks lived together in relative harmony. But then, as Yugoslavia fell apart in the 1990s, Mostar itself became embroiled in war. Neighbors and friends took up arms against each other. First, Croats and Bosniaks forced out the Serbs. Then the two remaining groups set their guns on each other, establishing a bloody front line that cut right through the center of this town. Locals, like tour guide Alma Alezovic, lived under siege during that frightening time. You must have powerful memories of living during the war, living through the war. Yes, you know, we are Muslim, and that was our flat here. We, we, we lived here all the time when war started. So when war started, they cut electricity, cut everything. So it was totally dark. It was like we back 500 years back, you know. And during the day, they shelling, they send us million grenades and bullets. We have to stop. We have to uh, find a shelter, protect us and our family. But evenings uh, bring a new duties. You have to find water. You have to find food, uh, see the friends, etc. So. I remember I have to wear it, uh, black things because of snipers' uh, uh, watches all the time, 24 hours. So there hours. were Croat snipers exactly. over here shooting exactly. this Exactly. Was your family okay? Yes, thanks God my family was okay, but many of my friends been killed here. And uh, two friends actually died here, just here. This street was, it's very symbolic to us. Uh, we live on this street and die on this street. This is a very special place for us. Uh, it was a park before war where lovers gather, children gather, and sitting here have a nice time. But in the war, we mustn't go to the cemeteries because uh, it was uh, exposed too much to the snipers. We have to come here and bury people. Actually, we have to uh, 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 transform parks in a cemeteries. In all of the dates, 1993. Yes, uh, I think 90% of these graves are from 93. Very young people. The conflict reached its peak with a symbolic moment that resonated around the world. This venerable bridge was pummeled by artillery shells from the hilltop above until finally it collapsed into the river. While the city has been at peace now since 1995, the sectarian symbolism remains powerful. Still, both religious communities seem determined to build upon this fragile reconciliation. The ten minarets, rebuilt since the war, once again pierce Mostar's skyline like Muslim exclamation points. Each Friday, the town's mosques are busy with worshippers. Across town, twice as high as the tallest minaret, towers the Croat's Catholic church spire. Like the mosques, this new church is busy serving the faithful in its community. Observing this, it occurred to me that I've never met anyone from either community here who called the war anything but a tragic mistake. Mostar is rebuilding. It's moving on, and those ethnic divisions are gradually fading. Soon after the war, the old bridge was rebuilt using the original materials. The new old bridge was immediately embraced as a promising sign of reconciliation. And today, as they have for generations, young Mostarians jump from the bridge. Divers make a ruckus collecting donations at the top of the bridge. They tease and they tease, asking for more money, and more money, and more money. Finally, they take the 75-foot plunge.
Leading up the hill from the old bridge is Coppersmith Street, a lively shopping zone with the flavor of a Turkish bazaar. You'll find hammered copper decorations, artists' galleries, and a local twist, old Yugoslav army kitsch. And in the evening, restaurants along Coppersmith Street and the rest of Mostar's riverfront clamor for your business. Grilled meats are big here, including shish kebabs and the little sausage links called chavapchichi. And everything tastes better with a dab of Ivar. That's a condiment made of eggplant and red pepper, like Bosnian ketchup with a kick. An after-dinner stroll inspires confidence in this region's ability to heal its wounds. Young and old, everyone's out embracing life. Masala Square, literally the place of prayer, is designed for big gatherings. And tonight, the students are out and Bosnian hormones are raging. Being young and sexy is a great equalizer. These 20-something Bosnians were toddlers during the war. Seeing them tonight, it's clear. They're looking forward to a bright and promising future.